good morning. My name is Phạm Ngọc Hà. I'm a resident doctor at my hospital. Today is my honor to be here to present my presentation with the name of clinical paraclinical feature and histologic causes a patient with malignant central airway obstruction. Uh, this study uh, was conducted under my supervisor, Professor Vu Văn Zap. Um, there are five parts in my presentation. The first part is introduction. Uh, central airway obstruction is the, is the obstructive processes can impede airflow within the central airway. Uh, CO can result from a variety of dizzy process and is a cause of significant mobility and mortality. There are two types of CAO, is malignant CAO and non-malignant CAO. Um, prevalence of cancer is too high and the incidence of lung cancer has been increasing recently. Uh, according to Earth study, uh, an estimate 20 to 30 percent of patients with lung cancer will develop uh, airway obstruction and up to 40 percent uh, of lung cancer uh, death may be attributed to local regional disease. Research on clinical future and histologic causes can help physicians to have more evidence to apply to clinical practice and improve the outcomes of the patient. Um, because of that, a lot of studies have been conducted over the world about clinical as well as a paraclinical of this disease. However, in Vietnam, we found that not too many research on the actual incident CAO or feature of patient with malignant CAO uh, we have been uh, done in Vietnam. So that we conduct this uh, uh, research with a specific objective to describe clinical paraclinical features and histologic causes of patients with malignant central airway obstruction. Uh, in malignant CAO, the patient may get disease from uh, primary endoluminal carcinoma or metastatic uh, carcinoma to the airway. Uh, according to Wood, the majority, uh, majority of uh, primary uh, tracheal tumor are carcinoma. When a person has a malignant CAO, he or she can have some symptoms and signs uh, of respiratory system and malignant uh, causes. From those symptoms and signs, patient can prescribe some specific diagnostic tools for the patient. For example, pulmonary function testing, chest X-ray, chest CT scan, uh, bronchoscopy, uh, pathology reports. After identification of CAO, it's really necessary to categorize them to have appropriate treatment modalities to, for the patient. And uh, according to Frage on uh, a pro, uh, European Respiratory Journal, there are two major groups of stenosis, uh, structural and functional. And the degree of stenosis is a sign a numerous codes can be uh, applied to any sign from zero to five. And um, five locations within the central airway are shown in the picture, upper third, middle third, lower third, and right and left bronchus. Um, about the material and method, uh, the, uh, the subsets need to meet all the uh, inclusion criteria. Uh, first, um, diagnosed with malignant CAO, uh, agree to participate in the research and do not meet any of the exclusion criteria. About the criteria for diagnosis of CAO, the patient needs to have at least one of the diagnostic imaging reports on chest CT scan or bronchoscopy. And about the criteria, uh, criteria for diagnosis of malignant CAO, the patient needs to have two conditions. First, the evidence of malignancy on pathology reports. And second, diagnosis of CAO. And um, in our research, we have a 29th case study uh, um, a combination of res uh, retrospective and prospective um, from September 20, uh, 2014 to June 2019. The sample is convenient sampling. A research instruments is an ununified medical record form and data analyzed on the microscope's office itself. Here is a, a data collection procedure. And uh, there, there was 29 patients diagnosed with cancer having CAO at respiratory center of my hospital from September uh, 2014 to June uh, 2019. Now looking at 
table number one, uh, you can see uh, CAO occur in men, in men more, uh, more than women, and risk style is similar to critical research which have uh, prevalence of male and uh, female are 60, 69 percent, and uh, um, in on the women's is 31 percent. The um, possibly because in Vietnam has higher rates of smoking in men than in women. An uh, average age is um, 40, uh, 41.9 uh, minor plus uh, for, uh, 14 years, of which uh, youngest is 17, 17 years old, and the oldest is 79 years old. It occurs mainly in the uh, 45 to 59 age group. This may explain by uh, the fact that older people are more likely to develop malignancy than other age group. Uh, about clinical symptom and sign, cough is the most common symptom, with uh, seven, seventy-five point nine percent followed by dyspnea and weight loss. The risk result is different from the Honey study. Honey study uh, with a results in dyspnea accounts for fifty-eight percent. This near usually occurs when the degree of stenosis is 75% decrease in cross-sectional area. However, in our studies, the new number of severe uh, CAO patients is less than other groups, so which may explain the difference between two studies. Uh, this slide shows characteristic of pulmonary function testing. Most patients uh, most patient measure uh, respiratory function about uh, 70 percent, uh, in which the number of patients with fit uh, airway obstruction accounted for majority, I mean uh, uh, 41.4 uh, percent. This result is similar to res uh, the result of Vu Van Zap and Mai Mai Tam in uh, 2015, with no lung disorder account for 31 percent, and fit airway obstruction is 45 percent. Now we can see at the table number three about the CAO detection on bronchoscopy and CT scan. On chest scan, 48.3% uh, um, patient has image of CAO, and the remaining image were not visible. But via bronchoscopy, 100% of patient has picture of CAO. This result is also uh, similar to CAMO study, has with uh, 100 patients has CAO detection on chest scan. Thus, uh, we can see bronchoscopy pl plays an important role in diagnosing CAO. Now we're moving to figure about three regarding to location of stenosis. Obstruction can occur in anywhere of the central airway. The most common location are in the upper third of trachea and left main bronchus. Um, both are 31%. This result is also similar to, uh, to the result of Vu Van Zap and Mai Mai Tam, uh, when the most common location is uh, in upper third of the trachea. This lies on degree of stenosis. Lies stenosis, uh, I mean code 1, is um, predominant, accounting for 31%. And, uh, where the number of complete stenosis is very small, just 6.9%, uh, the rest of the occur at different level. The re uh, this results differ from study of NIDA when the stenosis code 3 uh, is majority. However, NIDA research conducted uh, on the subject of CIO due to non malignant causes, not as malignant etiology in our st study. Now, looking at uh, table 4. There are no, there are no difference between uh, of the number of patients with cancer originates from in or out of the airway. But for the detail, in the groups of um, primary cell, uh, cancer as respiratory system, non-small cell lung cancer uh, accounts for majority uh, for uh, thirty-four point five percent. In the groups of primary cancer outside respiratory tract, the cause of metastatic esophageal cancer has a high case proportion, the 13.8%. And uh, the result is um, uh, inconsistent, inconsistent with uh, the result of other study, uh, 
because of um, when uh, uh, it consistent with the epidemiology of cancer, when squamous cell carcinoma usually occurs in male patient uh, and smoking patient, according to Sarah's uh, study. So, based on above result and discussion, our researchers had some conclusion below. First, about clinical features, CO occurs in men and uh, more than women, and mainly in the 45 to 50. Uh, Night age group, cough and dyspnea are the most prevalent symptoms. Uh, second, uh, prime, uh, prime clinical features, almost half of the patient has obstructive ventilatory defect. All patients have evidence of CO on bronchoscopy, and the most common locations are upper thirds of the trachea and right main bronchus. Stenosis code 1 accounts for the, the majority, and the history causes no difference between the number of the patient with cancer originated from in or out of the airway. And in, uh, in the group of primary cancer, a respiratory system, non-small cell lung cancer accounts for the majority. Thanks for the attention.